one of the greatest, that is a lawyer, yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud, I give them no power. Welcome back, best uni crew. It's your girl. I'm going to do a custom tray table for a friend of mine. He's like in the Cowboys. So you get these from Walmart. I paid probably like $10.98. And I got some spray paint. So it's kind of chilly outside. I don't know if this is going to play out right because you know it's not good to spray paint while it's cold. First, I think I'm gonna do the legs first because then I can uh, make the table sit up more. So I need to get my heat gun to get this off of the table. So I'm gonna use my heat gun and try to get this off the table. Hopefully, it gets off that good because it's leaving like a white residue. I didn't want to have to work that down on hard, I don't remember it being that hard. I think it used to have like a folding paper over it. It didn't used to have the sticker. I don't remember the sticker being on there. So I'm trying to heat the glue up. Wear some heat gloves, please. Okay. That we did leave without burning your hand off. You have to get a good little um, glue gone or something, probably, and wipe it down, but I don't know how that's going to affect the spray paint. But it does have like a little sticky residue so I would suggest try to get that off of there before you store spray paint. Try to get as much off as you can. And so the wind is blowing a little bit so I don't know how this gonna play out. Hopefully it don't do too bad with the paint. Try to block as much as I can. It's still kind of chilly outside, so I don't know. Maybe it'll warm up. I'm probably going to have to do a, a couple of good coats on it. Like it's trying to come out. The wind seems like it's going this way. So. I would say one can would be fine, but it's like a working 10 times harder because of the wind. I should warm the table up. Get some cheap little Walmart spray paint. Get that Restodium, it'll probably look better too. Probably give me another can with a fancier paint. And it'll probably be a little more warmer then. But I want this table to be super white. So probably do a couple layers of white paint. 
you still see some kind of like blotches because of how thin the spray paint is. It's still drying. It, ain't, it don't look too bad, but I want it to be super white. Not bad. And I feel like getting some darker or some um, good spray paint that'll cover the flaw areas. So that's what I'm going to do. But right now, we'll sit this out here, let this dry for about a good 20 30 minutes. I bring it in the house, finish spray painting, then I do the vinyl work. So I got a design of my choice, which is like a, a, a image of a cowboy um, player, which he said number 11 was his favorite. And it had like a splatchy looking design with it. And I'm gonna try to see if this gonna work out, y'all. Um, sometimes when you put vinyl onto a table without any primer, or sealer and all that good stuff, it might chip the paint and pull the paint. So I'm kind of scared of that part. I haven't bought no more spray paint. And then I was like, well, we're just going to see how it play out. So I'm thinking kind of get the whole thing and transfer it over to the table and weed it from the table. Now, I don't know if it's going to chip the paint or not because I didn't put no primer on the table. And I'm praying it doesn't, but I'm not a good spray painter, at, for real. I really don't like to paint nothing, but I do know sometimes you have to have a primer spray paint. And the transfer tape that you're using do not need to be super, super sticky. So this right here is a um, Chef Liner Easy Weed Liner from Walmart at the kitchen section where you use contact paper to, um, you know, do contact paper on the shelving and all that kind of stuff. That's what I got that part for. But, I don't know. Sometimes it works like wine and then sometimes you just don't know. So, let's say... If I will try to weed it from the back. And let's see. Will it uh, leave the vinyl down? If I weed it like this. Because I just really need the vinyl to stay down onto the blue. But it didn't look like it cut all the way through there. Like I needed to. So this had pieces come out. So we're just going to finger cross crew. Let's just find out. I generally don't know how this gonna play out. So I was thinking more of this design going off to the side. And then put we the boys right there. Now if this chips, it's gonna be bad on my end, but we just know what not to do next time. It's hard doing vinyl. Um, and like I said, it don't look like it's cut in certain spots, but we're trying to find out. I don't have a scraper. I'm kind of scared to use the scraper because I don't want to mess the paint up. So I'm just rubbing it with my hands. I'm going to try to pull as soft as I can because y'all know I'm heavy handed. I don't have no soft grip. I just be going with the flow, honey. So, trying to. Sometimes I just go with the flow. Uh, 
didn't really come out like I thought it would. The same stuff. Maybe, maybe I was pulling the wrong stuff. I'm thinking. I messed the design up bad to the point of all the stuff that's around it is supposed to have been pulled and I was pulling the wrong stuff. So, oh, didn't come out like I would like it to. But I feel like I can still probably blue thing it a little bit more and fix it. I found some pieces that I want to stay and then try to put them in here. So we're gonna have to bootleg it. And I did vinyl because I don't want to do resin and I will do like a spray sealer or something like that. Cause I don't like messing with epoxy. I might go over it a couple times with some, uh, what you want to call it, like some um, Mod Podge or something to give it like a gloss look or a sealer spray. Pretty much I go over it with a sealer spray. I can just put the other one on there some kind of way. It didn't look like it had got cut. All this must have been an arm and all kind of other good stuff. But it looks kind of weird without certain pieces. And I don't see it on here. So I'm cutting another piece. Um, I'll try to get the one maybe the arm or something i don't know it don't look too bad it looks kind of like you know some delusion or illusion however you say the word and then i'm gonna put with the boards over here so they didn't finish cutting and i'm gonna weed this little piece out and uh let me see can i pull that arm okay so this is what it's supposed to look like <laughs> Mine don't look nothing like that, but mine don't look too bad. But, um, I need that one, and I need this arm piece, and that arm piece there. And, uh, I don't know as much as possible by taking what I want up off of here. trying to place it where I want it to go because I ain't trying to cut no more and then yeah. and I understand a lot of y'all were like well why you just gonna do blah 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 yeah like you see all these damn little ass pieces on this thing it's a lot of little pieces so one thing I forgot to say was when vinyl, when vinyl, if it comes up, majority of the time it's supposed to come up. I be forgetting because I haven't done it in a long time. But majority of the time, if it's coming up, it's supposed to come up. So try to remember that much. Um, this part here is supposed to be his arm, so I'm going to have to pull this part up. Let's see, can I get that to lay a certain kind of way? And uh, blue is a tad different. I think I can come over some with it. 
But the, the blue do look a little tad different. pieces that I wanted um, to move. Just a few. Straight the table up. So some of the vinyl that was underneath it so it won't look like so bad of a bubble look if it is like vinyl that was already down underneath it and you can't see it through the top part Sure, I got everything. So we're just gonna try to get this arm and um, put this arm underneath here. So we need to move this piece here. All these pieces that centered. We need to remove these. Try to place it underneath uh, the little lines. Okay. Okay, should have used a transfer tape, but I didn't, so we just got to try and be careful. figure this part out okay so don't look bad it look a little tad better you can see the arms i don't know what this part was but we just try to put that on there as well uh, i think it was going under this area somewhere we just throw that in there and then a couple of these little splits just to give it like a little Regular look, you know, just place them anywhere, just to kind of throw the design together. Still feel like the head design was the best on that one over there. I think that's good enough because <laughs> if I keep playing with y'all, I already know I mess it up. So, like I said, I'm just throw some little more regular looking pieces around here because I am going to put we are the boys up in this area here. I try to seal it to where he does not feel the vinyl too bad. So it really won't be so rough, right? You know, but this is just something. Him have as a gift. So, so right here, I'm thinking we the boys here, maybe or here. Okay, 
so I kind of ran out of this dark color. It did, this is dark, but it, you can tell the difference is different. But uh, I was going to try to do we the boys going like this, but then it was too big. And I didn't know if I wanted to put more stuff like here or the wet, but I'm just going to do something simple here. Like this. So this is what it's going to look like. And I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate it, you know. It's still custom, you know what I mean. Uh, um, might get some gloss. I don't know, y'all. I really genuinely don't know. It's a gift. So make sure y'all leave y'all honest opinion down in the chat. Let me know what you think I could have did different. I feel like I need to get more little scuffy looking pieces and kind of put it around there. Yeah, I think it's cute. You think he gonna like it? I hope so, but I might find uh, other little pieces to try to put up in this little area here. But y'all make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a blessed one. To infinity, then beyond it, I am a common no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get ugly, yeah. Ain't no problem, a number, equation, presence, loaded, observation. I'm not new here, we both create.